Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about types.simple namespace. Um, not typing. <laughs> I know, there's a typing and a types module, which is great. But anyway, let's jump into it. I'll show you a couple examples where I would use this type. Alright, so let's first show what this type does. So we're going to open up Python 3. And in order to get this, you use from types import simple namespace namespace uh and note that this is different than the typing module the reason this is different is the types module is kind of the, the older module which exposes some um, top level names that are uh you know some of the built-in types so if you look at you know import types you have things like types dot you know traceback type i don't actually want to instantiate it or you know types dot is there there's like a some yeah anyway these are all the <laughs> types in that model. There's also some other like type building things here. So like new class, prepare class, resolve bases. Uh, these are around, you know, dealing with types. But anyway, <laughs> this video isn't about the types module. It's about the simple namespace attribute. And what simple namespace does, uh, if you just pass, you know, no arguments to it, you just get back this boring namespace. Uh, but what's really cool about this is you can give it attributes uh, and it takes any arbitrary uh, keyword arguments. So if you say like, you know, a equals that, b equals two, c equals, I don't know, some floating point number, uh, you can see that it builds a class that stores these values and you can, you know, or builds an object that stores these values more specifically. Uh, so we should call it obj, not tp. Um, and so you can see that you can access all of these by attribute, which is pretty cool. Um, I find this really useful if I need like a stub object, so like if I need to pass, you know, an object that has a specific set of attributes in like a test or something. Uh, I also use this a lot when I'm writing fixtures in PyTest, so you might have something like, I don't know, uh, import PyTest, PyTest.fixture. Uh, one example that I used recently when I was writing some tests is I had a particular Git directory. Uh, which extended from tempter, and I had like, you know, tempter equals or d equals tempter.join git uh, import subprocess subprocess.check call uh, git init stir d uh, subprocess.check call git commit uh, allow empty. That's gonna go off the screen. I'll put another line break just so you guys can see it. Dash m init. And maybe like revision equals subprocess dot. Oh, where did I forget a parenthesis up here? Subprocess dot check output git rev parse head dot strip dot decode. Um, and I might want to, you know, pass along this getter object to my test. So I'm going to import uh, types, and we're going to yield a types dot simple namespace namespace uh, where we pass multiple objects in here. So you would say like, you know, directory equals d, and revision equals rev. And that way, in my test that uses getter, um, I could, you know put things into this directory here, or I could, you know, check out this revision or use that revision other places. Um, but this kind of saves me needing to write out a whole class or a whole name tuple for this. I can just, you know, use a one-off simple namespace to satisfy this. Now, of course, because simple namespace is super dynamic, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't interact nicely with type checking or stuff like that because, you know, the object itself has no structured type it's basically you know any any attribute goes um the other thing that you can do is once you've constructed one of these you can also attach object or attach attributes to it later and those will still show up in the object's representation so you can see here that you know d uh, even though we attach this attribute after the fact it shows up in the wrapper and that's you know another part of the dynamic nature of this uh, this simple namespace is new in Python 3. Uh, if you were stuck in Python 2, you might see something like this as a replacement. So you might just say like class ns pass um, and, you know, attach attributes to this like this. Um, this, is, of course, isn't a full replacement for simple namespace because ns doesn't have, you know, a nice set of uh, <laughs> a, set, a nice wrapper here. Uh, 
but the documentation actually shows you a way to build your own simple namespace if you needed it for some reason. You can do that with def init, uh, cell star star quarks, and you can kind of stuff this into self.dict. Usually you don't access double under attributes, but in this case, you know, we're kind of implementing some dynamic behavior here. And then you would implement wrapper, which, uh, let's see, adders equals, and we're gonna use Python 3 syntax here, but <laughs> this dot join, uh, k equals v, for kv in self dot dict items, uh, parentheses, and then return type self.name and then adders I think that's correct a equals one b equals two hey there we go oh I should have done bang r here anyway <laughs> it's close to being correct I should have done the representation of v and not actually the value of v so you can see here this looks like the number one but it should have been the string one but anyway, that's simple namespace. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you can find a few places to use this in like tests or such or, uh, you know, organizing s sample objects for stuff. But anyway, uh, if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.